Hey guys, welcome to a kind of short PTB video. I'm here with my friend Annie, who's gonna basically be a bot for us in PTB and test some of the perks. <laughs> hi mom. You would say hi or whatever. And then I would say- Nobody cares about intro. So the first new killer perk is Hoarder, which is the one that shows the notifications for when you interact with the chest. Oh, but it has to be within 48 meters. We didn't know that. So we didn't know that before. So it's 48 oh. meters of your location. So I think so some- So even if they were right beside you, it would show? Well, if you have line of sight of stuff like that, it doesn't give you a notification for anything. That's how notifications work in DVD. But if there was a wall between you and them, it would probably blow up. That would really suck. Yeah, yeah, for the survivor, surely. The next one is Oppression, which is another one that we didn't talk about yet. Which is when you damage a generator, up to three, up to three random generators also begin regressing. So I guess it probably says up to three, just if there's three of available but there's always three available if there's a gen available to kick there's always three gens available if the affected generators are being repaired any survivors repairing them receive a difficult skill check so i wonder if it'll be an overcharged skill check or if it'll just be like a kind of difficult skill. We'll, see. We'll, 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 we'll see we'll see this next one is coupe de grace do you know how to s surely you can pronounce this Annie. isn't that like french or something i don't fucking speak french well, I figure you live in Canada, maybe. Okay. You're right, so you probably speak perfect Spanish then. <laughs> Final blower shot given to kill wounded person or animal. So it's a, it's a phrase. Okay. That's why I thought maybe you would recognize it. Anyway, Coupe de Grace. <laughs> I, th I just figured like a phrase. Annie always, Annie always mercy kills, right? <laughs> no, I just figured like a phrase. It might be like a common phrase that like is known. I don't know. <laughs> Coupe de Grace is a perk that anytime a generator is completed, I get a token, and then the token basically doubles your lunge. So each token that you get doesn't make your lunge better, it's just one token's consumed every time you lunge while you have a token. So 100% is basically multiplied by two, so you have twice, twice the lunge range versus a normal lunge. So this killer basically gets to see when you're looting chests, they get to kick three generators by kicking one and giving a difficult skill check. And they also get to lunge twice as far when a generator has been completed within the trial and they haven't swung randomly at something else. So as long as they have a token. Because they don't get to choose when to use a token, it's literally just the next time they swing. That's interesting as well. They don't burn a token intentionally, it's just the next time they swing. So we'll have to check all these out. In, in Monster area. jump far, got it. The first perk is Appraisal, which has three tokens, so... Um, basically, every, every time you loot a chest, you can re-loot that same chest up to the maximum number of your tokens. So, one survivor can, any survivor can loot the chest one time, and then I think they can loot it three times after that. So, if everybody brings this perk, I think 12 people, I think 13 loots on one chest is what we can do. Right? Surely, m multiple tokens on the same chest is kind of crazy, though. Can you imagine one chest surrounded by 13 items? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. We'll have to test that to see. Maybe you can only use one token on each chest. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to check that out. But the next one after that is Deception, which is the new perk that lets you basically fake fast faulting into a locker by um, you know whenever this perk is activated, it looks like you run past a locker, you press space bar, and instead of jumping in the locker, it just pretends like you jumped in the locker, and then you have no scratch marks for three seconds, and you can do that once every forty seconds. Because when you do locker saves, you also sprint and then quickly vault into the locker, right? So then, would you be you wouldn't be able to activate that anymore with this one? You're saying literally you might not be able to jump in a locker at all when you have this perk yeah, up, right? Yeah, it would fake it instead of actually you going in because it says you no longer enter lockers while sprinting. Yeah, but I mean, while it's on cooldown, you could or. Surely you could just double tap spacebar. It would burn it the first time you press spacebar, and then I think you would just jump in the locker the second time. So it would waste the perk, but I think um, it would be so wasted. Yeah, but if you were gonna die and you you like you can't use this perk in that situation, you could just it's only on cooldown for 40 seconds, so you could just actually double tap and jump into the locker. But I wonder if it'll give them the notification. Maybe it'll show them that you have it. Maybe then it would be a waste of the perk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It would fake that you went into that locker and said you actually go into that locker and then yeah. they find you. Yeah. But if you're, if I'm saying like if you were wanting to do a locker save, you could still do a locker save even with the perk activated. That's true. Yeah, yeah. The whole point of locker save is they open it. The last one is power struggle, which once your wiggle progression when being carried by the killer reaches 25%, you can drop a pallet to save yourself if they walk through a pallet, right? So the current strategy that I'm hearing with this, if you're on a swift or something and you get downed on a pallet, you can recover flip-flop to a minimal of 50%, like 
Like if you recovered at 50%, when you get picked up, your recovery would be 25% because it's like a two to one ratio. So if you recover your flip-flop just halfway, you recover your wiggle to 25%, which means if you get picked up on that pallet, after just 50% of recovering on the ground with flip-flop, you can drop the pallet yourself. So if you have a friend that can loop that pallet until you recover to 50% with flip-flop, and then they just leave, the killer will be confident enough to pick you up, and then you just save yourself with power struggle. That's like even better than DS, I think. We have to test these other things first, so we'll test these other things, and uh, and we'll see, we'll see what, we'll see what fucking happens, yeah? Opening it yet? Wow, okay. But keep tapping it. Can you tap it and get off of it? Okay. Keep doing that. Okay, that's it, because it was too fast. <laughs> oh, you opened it? Yeah. Okay, so pick an, I just pick an item up. Keep picking an item up. Okay. Keep doing it. Yeah. Keep doing it. I'm trying to find 48 meters. Okay, I found 48 meters. So this is a visual representation of 40 meters. Wow. 48 meters, sorry, 48 meters. That's pretty far. There he is! And you can't see this on the ground, can you? In front of me? Sliding slower away? Basically standing no, on him. A, no, he's attached to your chest. You don't see him on the ground? He's attached to you. Yeah, yeah, but you don't see him on the ground, like right in front of you. No, he's... In your chest. On my screen, he's fucking in the ground, dude. All right, now we've we've progressed these three gens in the in the frame. So let's see, because it says up to three gens, which doesn't make sense because there's always three gens available, unless that means in the last instance of the match, if somebody's on the last gen, it technically won't kick that gen. This game is so bad. Well, chunks, I right? think it means sometimes it can't. So I think sometimes it can't regress because if your only one gen has been worked on, or the other ones are complete. Oh, true. Three, four, yeah, 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 yeah. True. If 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 there's not multiple gens worked on, I guess that is a good point. Yeah. Okay, just stay on the okay, gen. Yes, I stay on the gen and let me know if you get. A, let me know what your skill check looks like. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> I saw it. Was it really fucking it was very, stand? Very small. It was okay, very switch. Small. It was like the. <laughs> yeah, it's overcharged. It's, it's like an overcharged skill yeah. check. Switch back to the other gen. So this is going to be the skill check for your other gen perk. Yeah, that's an overcharged skill check. I pressed fucking space bar like an idiot. I'm about to finish the gen. Okay. Are right, you ready to do the lunge? Mm -hmm. Okay, come stand. Stand like right at this board. I wonder if I can reach that far. I think ready? so. Last time it was. No, I don't know if this. I think this is further than last. You ready? Yes. Now stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay, stay, stay there. This one shouldn't be nearly as far. Okay. Oh, okay. surely we can go way further. We can probably go to like, right here. Lunges are actually really far. I'm inside this, inside. I can't fucking get you out of there. Inside, okay, but. Okay, no, not that door, but yeah, that, at the edge of this door, like right here. I don't know if that's gonna reach. This might reach. I this, think it's gonna reach. That's so far, actually. That's fucking far. Nah, oh. we, we were right the first time, we were right the first okay. time. <laughs> I'm basically walking up this loop right now. Oh my God, I swung over it. Buckle up, Annie. You're looting this chest four times. Let's see what you get. What do you think it's gonna be? Med kit. It's a fucking key. What color is that key? Purple. Purple key. First try. What? The item so appears so early. Yeah. Okay. But that's normal for like normal chests too. When you it appears, try to hold key. shift and get off of it. Try to hold shift and run away. There you oh. go. So you can cancel the animation this early. The animation that's yeah, you can cancel the animation early. At first, surely. But I guess this would not have to Wait, 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 wait. No way. No fucking way. This is not real! This can't be fucking real! Alright, so this is gonna be the. T What's that perk called? I already forgot. Deception. 
this will be the test of deception. So whenever you're ready, just crouch once and then start running. Ah, it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, oh it doesn't make a sound. It doesn't make a sound. Wait, it doesn't make a sound. It's on cooldown, so technically it... Yeah, it, it, it worked. It, no, it, the perk worked the way it was meant to work. But I really thought that it would do like an actual blow up notification and stuff. But it, I guess since I had line of sight of the locker, it didn't blow up. Well. Like if you look at a wall and you click the flashlight, it's like sometimes it, it changes where it is depending on I don't know what. It's like. I think it's like if you look up a little bit. It goes higher than the center of your screen. And look how wiggly that is. That's what you look insane right now. But oh, I bet if said it's supposed to make a sound though. Well, I also thought it would make a locker sound. I'm sure if I don't have line of sight of the locker, it'll make like an explosion sound. Okay, maybe you maybe you, you don't follow me and see if it makes a sound. Yeah, I think if I was hanging back further it would, it would be more realistic. So okay. I'll hang let me know when it's, it's off cooldown. It's up again. It's up again. It's up? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Just go and then do it. I'll be so far behind it. Did it work? Yes. It's on cooldown. Huh. Did it not work? No, it didn't work. The perk must not work the way I think it works. I must have to be really far away from you. Like, you stay well, maybe there. You just, you just stay, yeah. You just yeah, you stay there. I'll go really far away like I'm cross map or something. I don't think I can go to the left of the tire. No, nah, Dead Heart just stops me. You okay. shouldn't have to be cross map. Then I know, I know. In a chase, so what good is that? For That's you? what I was thinking. Like, who fucking cares if it doesn't work in chase? Do it now. It doesn't matter. Like anything, okay. just do it right now. Okay. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to be far enough away that it would that it would trigger an actual notification even in a chase. Huh. So that time it worked fully. It made a blow up sound and a visual effect on the screen. But okay. That's like so dog. Like it wouldn't actually work well in chase. But what it would still work because you wouldn't see my scratch marks for three seconds, so you would still think I went in the locker even if you didn't get the sound. Because you'll see my scratch marks leading up to the locker and then disappear. So even yeah. if you don't hear it, you'll assume. Right? Yeah, but what, what fucking insane killer isn't in chase with you and just leaves whatever they were doing to go chase this non-generator explosion? Like, a normal no, I killer... Mean, if you were chasing me, you would still yeah, yeah, see yeah. my scratch marks leading up to the locker. But, <clears throat> oh, true, 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 true. But, but at the at that close in chase, you would you would hear the locker open. Nobody's gonna check the locker just because the scratch mark stopped there, unless they thought you had head on, quick and quiet. Then may okay, maybe you got a point there. Maybe you got a point there. I don't know. I, I just I wanted this perk to be better. The main building looks so good. This is sweet. What? Oh, and also you can run to the other side of this loop and the killer might fall down like an idiot. Yeah. I'm gonna down you on it. Mm -hmm. And then crawl on it and start recovering because you have flip flop, mm -hmm. right? So get actually on pallet. So keep recovering and like if I was chasing another survivor, whatever, whatever, I'm afraid that they're gonna drop the pallet, right? Yeah. And so how recovered are you already at flip flop? I'm like halfway. It's halfway should be like, what, 54, 25%? Yeah, yeah, so I can pick you up now. So I pick you up now, there should be a button to press to drop the pallet. I'm gonna try to walk out of the pallet. Yes. What was the button? Space bar. So in the ideal situation, you recovered for what? A couple seconds? And then I'm gonna pick you up now and drop it as soon as you can. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fucking fun, dude. I cannot this wait. This one is fun. Was there an animation for it? Yes. It was the normal. Well, the main building's can building here that's not Shaq. No, you it are. It is Shaq. It just looks different. Yeah, you're like at that. Shaq. I'm at the main building. The main building is completely different than it was before. It's just basically Shaq. But it has a god pallet already dropped because it has a breakable wall. Okay, this I'm time I, I will I'll sit on this edge of the pallet for you. Okay. Alright, I'm ready? Okay. I'll immediately try that. Yeah, immediately try to go back. I wonder if I can drop it without actually saving myself. Whoa! So yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters as long as it I can hit space like bar. It looks like I cleared it, but I think the perk makes it drop, not you. Yeah. So either way, it'll, it'll work. If I, look, if, if I look up, it works. Oh. 